Hello and welcome back to the Moonbase Alpha Subcolony series. Ben here and last episode we ditched down four guys over at Juna to scout out a new area for our base. And I didn't actually show last episode all the new people I've added, so because I didn't actually add anyone. Um today I went through all the comments from the last video and I got everyone I could up to this point, so if you're still not on it then you might have to wait. Because we've got so many people literally like so many down here oh no they haven't did they not save I might have to put them all back in again god damn it I did about another 50 people today alright whatever anyway we're at the moon of Skylab because there's been some activity going on here Tony John our finest, brightest scientist up here has been using radial telescopes or ra radio telescopes, whatever they are, <laughs> uh, and he's been scanning the Juno area, and he found something strange orbiting. So we've got an unknown object. This is as close as we can get for now. We don't know what it is. We just know it's in around a 1.5 million or meter orbit and we're a little worried about our little kerbals over here so what we're gonna do is send over a scout ship to go and see what this is if it's a threat, if it's manned, unmanned, if they're friendly enemy there's only one way to find out so I'm gonna cut here I actually have a little recon ship with a Kaya strapped to it so we're gonna go check it out Okay, so we are a safe distance away from the unknown object and our fighter pilot here, Freddie Charles, stroke negotiator, is going closer to investigate. The problem we have here is we have different technologies, so we have to actually get really close before we can actually communicate with these. So we're just going to get into a communication range area. My technical terms are really off right now. I'm not thinking because I'm thinking about what I've got to say. I was going to do a comic strip kind of thing, but okay. So we're within range, and they have claimed to be the Valation Republic from Val. They've came here to investigate the life signals on Juno, which we sent over yesterday. They arrived a few hours ago, and they've gi they've given Freddy here permission to board, as long as they can inspect our ship. And he needs to go and speak with Bill, who is the chief, up in the command pod. I had trouble docking this. It just kept wobbling around until I put the SAS on. And then it just clicked in. So yeah, Bob's going to come down now and investigate our ship. Inspect it. And see kind of how technolog technologically advanced we are compared to them, I guess. So we think they're friendly right now, as they haven't given us any indication they're enemy. So while Freddy's talking away up there, Bob's actually stolen our ship here. I think it's Bob. It might be Bill. Either way, it's Bob or Bill. <laughs> One of them too. He has a bit of trouble steering our ship as it's different, but he finally gets the hang of it. And it looks like he's heading over to M.H. McCoy, over here in the transport ship, to have a word. And see what he's doing and why he's parked up here. Well, that's what we thought he was doing. But it seems like he's within missile range and he's firing 
and M.H. McCoy lost his life because of our mistrust with the Valations. So it's pretty obvious the Valation Republic are our enemy and they're not interested in our well-being. So we need to get over there quickly to get Freddy back, hopefully he'll still be alive by the time we arrive and also rescue our Kerbals on the surface from any harm and maybe take control of this which is an orbital space dock so we can use it to our own advantage. Okay, I'm doing something a little different here. Uh, this is a aircraft you haven't seen yet. Aircraft. It's called a Mammoth and it's a beast size-wise. It can hold two Kai destroyers which you see in here in the cargo bay. This is actually real time for once instead of sped up. Because I'm doing something a little different here. Uh, as you can see we're filling up. Basically these Mammoths have three crew. One is the cargo pilot. So you cargo pilots have got a nice big frigate to pilot now. There's a few of these. There's one at the moon at the moment. And this one's here for now. But yeah, as we had our first encounter here and it went a bit wrong. We lost the Kerbal, MH McCoy. But don't worry, we'll resurrect you. But it won't be you, obviously. We'll say it's your son or something like that. But I'll, still, I'll use you again, don't worry. You're not gone forever. But yeah, you can see these are armed to the teeth with missiles, so many. Plus the two Kaya destroyers. But what I want you to do is tell me what you want to happen here. So I'm going to give you some options, or you can just come up with your totally own. And I'll record the next bit tomorrow with what happens here. But you'll see what we're doing. Basically, I get these two out, and they face the Valation space dock. I should edit this up a bit more but I'm gonna leave it as is so you can actually see how, what I actually have to do and how much I have to edit and usually all that stuff. But yeah you can see the pilots as well here I've just used people that are in the crew roster and available. So we can either well the Valations can either see what we've got here and just surrender and that'll be easy and we just take control of the Valation space dock or Bob or Bill whoever's in our Kai destroyer can put up a bit of a fight and try take out some of ours he only has three missiles remember because he no he's got one left so he only has one shot because we wasted three taking out our old friend MH McCoy he accidentally shot three missiles so he's only got one shot to try and take out so either way we're going to capture this, it's just how you want it to go down because we could lose, potentially lose another Kerbal if he hits the cockpit with the missile and it's quite hard so I fancy our chances to actually have a little fight here as long as it doesn't target this big frigate we're okay oh yeah, you probably saw the uh, the lasers that's what that explosion was by the way on the transfer over do not try and shoot the lasers when even if you're in proper time warp because that's what happens luckily the ship didn't blow up but we, yeah we did lose the laser capability on this mammoth this is the mark 2 mammoth the other one's mark 1, it's exactly the same, I just called it mammoth 1 and 2 so yeah, these guys are just lining up into formation, you'll see I put this next to it actually looks really cool, they're just parked up right next to each other facing so let me know what you want to happen here we could even just try and take out the space dock and hope we don't hit the pod and kill 
Uh, I forgot who it is in there because this is a few hours later I recorded the second part it's not Patrick is it I don't know I know we've got one of our guys though trapped in the Valation space dock and we don't want to kill him so so yeah you let me know shall we fight with the is it Bob or Bill shall we risk taking a shot at our guys and have a little battle here and try and kill Bill in the other Kaya because it's pretty useless now, it only has one missile and time's about to run out so let me know and I'll make it happen